Hello there, everyone. I'm uh, doing a teaching today, uh, starting with uh, James uh, chapter 5, uh, going from verse 14 all the way to verse uh, 20. Okay. All right, so let's just uh, begin right here, and then we'll go from there. Okay, we'll just go right from there. All right. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have committed, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray one for another, that ye may be healed. The effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias, or Elijah, Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly that it might not rain, and it rained not, And it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth a sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sins. Okay, so... That's the reading from James. All right. You know, before you assume, learn the facts. Before you judge, understand why. Before you hurt someone, feel. Okay? Before you speak, think. All right. How does the Holy Bible view health? What principles does it contain for healthy living? It is certainly the Lord's purpose for us to be healthy. 3 John, verse number 2, you know, makes that clear. But many today, even those who claim to be true believers, abuse their bodies. Others become health food fanatics existing on a profuse amount of vitamins in you know in vitamins vitamin pills you know, and organic supplements what is the true biblical approach to health surprisingly the holy bible gives a few remedies for sickness primarily it lays out a way of life which if followed will prevent diseases the proper perspective on food and drink is expressly stated in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31. Whether therefore ye eat or drink, or whatsoever ye do, do all to the glory of God. Everything we do will be judged by the Lord Jesus Christ. Let us wholeheartedly serve him in all things. Food and drink are not as important as love and mercy, but they are important. We read in 3 John chapter 1, verse 2, which says, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Not everything that people put into their mouths is actually food. The Bible does lay out specifically what constitutes food and what does not constitute food. So... You know, before you say, well, I can eat anything. Well, do you happen to eat fire ants and uh, poisonous scorpions? And you get my point. Okay, the, the bottom line is no. Uh, the Bible does have some clear uh, direction as to what is food and what is not food. So, you know, it's important to go through the Bible and read it. 
for yourself. Okay? Don't take the word of the preacher in the pulpit. He could be lying to you. Instead, you go and you read your Bible. Read it from Genesis, you know, right through to Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. I know it's boring. Uh, you know, it's... But read the whole Bible. Start there at Genesis. And then eventually you'll get yourself into, you know, Psalms and Proverbs and Ecclesiastes. And eventually you'll get into Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and so forth. Okay? But start with Genesis. But read the Bible. Read what it says. Okay? Don't take someone else's word for it. Read the Bible. I mean, that's why I actually do this reading from the Bible. I specifically read it. Okay? I mean, I'm reading you what the actual Bible says. Okay? That's why I take the time to read it right from the Bible. I don't just give you a synopsis. I actually am reading it. Okay? So again, let's read from James. Chapter 5. Okay? And uh, we start again with verse... You know, let, let's, uh, let's move up a, a, a little bit. You know, let, let's start at James uh, chapter 5, uh, verse, uh, you know, 12. But above all things, my brethren, swear not, neither by heaven, neither by the earth, neither by any other oath, but let your yea be yea, and your nay be nay, lest ye fall into condemnation. Is any among you afflicted? Let him pray. Is any merry? Let him sing psalms. Is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. That doesn't mean spraying something on. That actually means that they will come, they will meet with a sick person, and they will lay hands on the sick person. Then they will anoint them that, that sick person with oil in the name of the Lord, the, the name of the Lord Jesus. It says, whatever you do, you know, anoint him in the name of the Lord. You know, Jesus Christ. And the prayer of faith shall save the sick, and the Lord shall raise him up. And if he have, and if he have committed sins, they shall be forgiven him. Confess your faults one to another, and pray for one another, that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Elias was a man subject to like passions as we are, and he prayed earnestly. Okay, I mean, that means earnestly. He prayed fervently. The fervent and effectual prayer of, the right, of a righteous man availeth much. That it might not rain, and it rained not on the earth by the space of three years and six months. And he prayed again, and the heaven gave rain, and the earth brought forth her fruit. Brethren, if any of you do err from the truth, and one convert him, let him know that he which converteth the sinner from the error of his way shall save a soul from death, and shall hide a multitude of sins. You have a really great day. God bless. And uh, thank you very much for sharing these YouTube videos, hitting the like button on these YouTube videos, and subscribing to these YouTube videos. I really appreciate it. I also uh, appreciate you uh, liking, commenting, and uh, sharing uh, my, my Facebook posts as well, and for commenting on these, uh, uh, you know, on, on these... Uh, uh, you know, YouTube uh, videos as well. And I just thank you, and uh, I really appreciate it. Um, so God bless. Wish you well. Thank you. Bye.